Uh, VJ, for the benefit of uh, those who didn't see our interview on my Saturday television show, Sputnik, uh, because this is a much bigger, a much wider uh, audience, just explain what we're talking about here, will you? Um, George, it's great to be with you. I think what you said is very important, which is that um, nobody outside India seems to be paying heed uh, to this strike. Last year, before the coronavirus struck, the right-wing Indian government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi pushed through in the upper house of parliament three farm bills, which are really anti-farmer bills, and four labor codes, including a labor code that increases the working hours beyond 12 hours a day. I mean, it's an absolute scandal. So on the 26th of November, 250 million workers and peasants conducted a general strike. L let me just repeat that number, uh, George, because yes, I, I don't want better. people to miss that. You better. <laughs> yes. Uh, 250 million workers and peasants in India went on strike on November 26th. That strike uh, catalyzed a farmer's revolt where tens of millions of farmers first began their revolt on the 26th of November and have now, are now are quite well into their fourth week of revolt. Uh, this revolt by the farmers has taken place across the country. The government of Mr. Narendra Modi has tried to you know, come in and say, here are some concessions. The farmers have rejected the concessions. They want the withdrawal of these farm bills, which are essentially privatization of farming in India. And they would like very much to get the corporates out of their hair so that they can grow the food they want to grow and feed the people in the way that the people need to be fed, which is ecologically, which is sustainably, and which is without the expenses of food bankrupting people.